From the 96.9 Radio Humber Studios, I'm Matt Hamill. Today, we have Toronto band James Party in the studio, a band that was formed while studying music at York University. You put together your first project, Garage Sessions, quite literally in the garage of the house you all lived in. And here you are 10 years later. I'm with Jeff, Tom, and Devin. Thanks for coming in, guys. Thanks for having us. Really appreciate it. Uh, You just released your fourth full-length album, Casual Island. Such a strong album with, with a really cool sound. Would you credit that to the fact that you guys have been together for all these years and you're able to just be on the same page and connect on such a level? Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, with this with Casual Island, it's sort of like a natural progression. If you listen that you bring now that you bring up Garage Sessions, you can sort of hear us at our humble beginnings, and then you know we sort of turned a little bit more electric with the the Alone Together EP, and then we had a uh, Hot Noise where it was a little bit more of a live band feel, and then you started to get more what our live show was like, and then with Tunnel Visions, we sort of you know added a little more flavors and a little more. Uh, you know, lush uh, production soundscape value. production <laughs> value, and then with this one, uh, Casual Island, it's just that next natural progression to, um, you know, uh, more mm-hmm. more production, cooler sounds, stuff like that. We'd we'd like to believe that we're maturing well as time goes on. So this, I think, this is uh, definitely lyrically and content wise, is our is our mo- most mature attempt. Yeah, at a and record. Do you guys kind of miss the days of being in the garage, or are you much more comfortable now in, in proper studios? <laughs> oh yeah, we <laughs> we're, we're studios. warmer and drier. <laughs> just now. <laughs> I think it feels kind of sometimes like, you know, we we parted out the garage into our own separate garages and our homes that we sort of float around from from place to place. So even though we've done a bunch of the work on this record in you know a legit professional studio um a lot of the a lot of the initial sounds and some of the ones that actually still made the record were done still in our apartments you know maybe not a garage but in your living room or something um and i think that i think it, the the record hopefully sort of retains some of that kind of um in the moment homemade sort of you know magic, magic. Hey, I know you guys have uh, a lot of stuff going on this summer. I know there's a CMW show and a couple of benefit uh, things you're doing as well. I'm wondering mm-hmm. if you could touch on that just a little bit. Uh, we've got the uh, uh, Re- Regent Park School of Music. We love uh, love working with them, you know, giving give back to the community whenever we can. And uh, we'll be doing their fundraiser on May 1st. Um, and then we've got a fundraiser in Hamilton on May 4th with our good pals Lowest of the Low, who are absolute legends. And then uh, May eighth, and CMW. then May eighth, CMW really cool. at the Horseshoe Tavern. A- APA, our booking agent, uh, showcase showcase for them. Really cool. Yeah, and then and then some summer stuff too. Yeah, yeah. a couple festivals. Dragon Boat festival. Um, we got Northern Lights and Fred Eaglesmith as well. So, oh, a lot to look out for this summer. And what can we expect from the Jane's Party live mm-hmm. performance? <laughs> the unexpected. <laughs> the unexpected. <laughs> Uh, no, you're going to see four guys, uh, maybe a couple guests, but, you know, we love what we do. We've been doing it for a while, and, uh, you know, we love playing music, and we hope that that comes across. You know, over the years, how have you guys developed as live performers? How has that part of what you guys do kind of come along, do you think? Mm. Well, I think you sort of as you play bigger shows or, or just different shows, you're sort of a palette for handling crowds like that or, you know, stages like that. Um, Get, gets broader so um, you know I think our last sort of test was in Europe opening for uh, our friend uh, Tom O'Dell who who's you know the, the shows there were about 3,000 people or so uh, and you know trying to perform in a in an arena for, for that many people I feel like you have to work on your thing a little bit <laughs> you know just get comfortable yeah. you know know what to say know, know how to do the thing so you know suddenly uh, suddenly you grow as a musician that one as a performer and then bringing that that experience and bringing that uh, expertise to a smaller stage or, or anywhere else really um, is really great. You can get creative with it. You can sort of draw on that. And um, I've heard you guys say like some advice you have for young artists is like get up there and perform. You have to do it. And you know we're an all Canadian music station. We try to promote emerging artists. What advice would you have? Maybe there's four young lads. They're studying music somewhere in Toronto right now. What advice would you have for them as they try to, you know, build a music career and, you know, ten years down the line, be releasing kick-ass albums and, and stuff like that? Oh, just keep at it. You know, <laughs> just honestly, we've we've seen so many bands that you know started ten years ago with us and they've just fallen to the wayside. But uh, I mean, if you love what you do, if you feel like you keep. Uh, you know, doing one better with each with each release. I think you're you know you're doing it right. I think playing live too is 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 a is a big thing. Um, 
especially if I mean there's obviously those people that go straight from like uh, you know a YouTube video or two to like you know stardom um, but I think there there are other paths and I think I think a lot of those paths start from playing live and and building a following by really capturing people with your live show and with the ability to actually get up there and do it and not I, I don't want to say hide behind recordings but um, you know in a sense it's nice to see someone you know put out a beautiful recording and then be able to back that up with with a live performance and I think people yeah. are drawn to that yeah you got to get out the house <laughs> yeah. and uh, put it in front of people right Really cool. Well, uh, Jeff, Tom, Devin, thanks a lot for coming in today, guys. Really thanks appreciate it. A lot of cool stuff to look out for this summer. You guys are performing all over. It seems like some cool benefits as well. And the new album, Casual Island. I love it. And uh, really great project, guys. Thanks a lot for Thank coming you. in. Thanks.